Alright everybody, welcome back to Uncrackable Royale. Today we are looking at update 4.1, the first update of season 4. Now, this update has been delayed by two weeks, because uh, it was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago. Um, but I was I, I wanted to get the um, first cinematic out before that uh, this update came out, but um, not all the voice lines have come back to me yet, so... Um, it's the, the updates have been postponed so it's put a bit of a dent in my schedule but hopefully it should be okay because I'm not keeping updates at a weekly schedule anymore I'm just gonna start posting them more frequently so um, who knows when the next update is gonna be it could be in like literally a couple days um, so yeah I'm trying to get the season rolling very quickly and there's not gonna be a cinematic in between every update there's going to be a couple cinematics just to show what happened between the live event and the start of Season 4. And there's also going to be cinematics um, towards the end. So let's get right into the changes that I've made. I literally, I'm just going to be honest, I just realized I forgot to com to remove all the, the birthday stuff. So it's still here. I'll do that real quick. This is taking too long. I have a better idea. This... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Balloon. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, um, does that look like all the balloons? There we go. And then the only balloon is up there. Perfect. Cake. The birthday cakes. Those are gone. And the particles. Uh, I don't believe I have any other particle besides the fireworks on the map right now, so, um, they're gone. Easy peasy. Alright, so now that all the birthday stuff is gone, um, there is still something lingering, or a couple things lingering from the summer update. Now, the, the birthday stuff was completely removed, um, but... Uh, we still have Mary Mall here as um, a location, and, and its whole island with the volcano and everything. It's still here. It's not going away. Um, and the water levels have gone down, but not back to how they were before. Um, because you guys voted to keep them a little bit higher. So this is going to go uh, until it... Um, makes an issue with my original plan because I hadn't originally planned for the water level to be like this so it'll stay for a while but if it ever interfere interferes with something that I've got planned in the future uh, then I'll, I'll put it back down to the original height but it'll it'll stay for at least the rest of the season um, I, I believe so That'll be cool, because I like it like this, too. Like, um... This section, where the ground is all super low, it's now become just like... Um... Like, pretty much like a big river going through. It looks very nice. But, um... Staggered Streets is not flooded anymore, which is... Uh, very good. However, this little cave section is, and I might know how to fix it, but it's currently still flooded in this update, so it might, um, it might drain out in the future. So yeah, that's the first update is the water, and, um, secondly, we have over here, um, if, <laughs> what's the editor, the editor is, is, okay, there we go, there we go, alright, figured itself out. This, the Shaky Shelter wall has been built. So now, um, to protect Shaky Shelter, because this is where most of the, um, like, surviving residents of places taken over by Staggered Streets, this is, not Staggered Streets, by the Red Industry, this is where most of them have now come to live. So, they've built a big wall to protect themselves, because the Red Industry basically has the whole island, besides Obliterated Bay, and of course not Merry Mall, because that's not going to be played into the storyline at all so here it is uh you see uh, across this whole part that needs to be super protected because that's where the rest of the island is they've got just a very large wall 
um, lights to keep everything lit. There, there is a way in, um, but it's like a, a checkpoint, so uh, you have to be let in by somebody so that the red industry people can't just come right in like these guys over here. Because across this road, there used to be multiple red industry cars, so now, yeah, here's one. Um, and another one was in here, and here it is now. Uh, oh, and there's there's a third. So, um, they don't like the red industry very much. But over here, where it doesn't need to be protected as much, they've got, um, smaller walls, but they do have cameras to, uh, be able to see who enters and exits. Uh, so, yeah, big updates to Shaky Shelter, turning it into more of a, um home base, like an HQ, uh, rather than just a, a place where everybody's gathering. So now they're more equipped to fight against this, uh, this mega corporation. The final change in this update is that there is a new item in the loot pool, which hasn't happened in a while, um, but it is the railgun. You can now find uh, blue and purple railguns in the loot pool, which as far as I can remember, is one of the things that was in the original uncrackable loot pool before I completely re redid it. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty pretty cool that it's back, and it's um, like storyline-wise, um, it's back because it is a weapon designed by the Red Industry, and that's why it's a big red laser. Um, so of course you can't play the map right now because. Um, Memory is just way over budget. Let me just sit right here on this dam and see what happens. There we go. Oh, it's still going up. No, that's where it wants to settle for now, I believe, is 102. It was higher before, so something is going right, because what the heck. See how glitchy the memory is? What the heck? Now it's back to 95. I have no idea. <laughs> um, the, these memory issues, they, they really make no sense. Um, like, I have no idea what's going on with memory. Over here now, it's 85k. It's hard because you, they don't have the feature that they did in 1.0 where you could just see on the whole map, like, where was the most usage. Maybe if I sit in the center, what kind of memory do you have right in the middle? Alright, alright, that's fine. Uh, and then down here. The whole new island is 87. So memory seems to be getting better, actually. Um, so that's good. So maybe it'll come back out soon. But, um... Anyway, what I was saying is that, um... I'm gonna keep updating loot pool and stuff, so that when it is playable, once again in the future, it'll be, it'll be, uh, ready to play and still be fresh. So that's it for the update, um, but I just wanted to talk about uh, something, is an up uh, a map that I have been teasing for a long time, which is Miniature Mayhem, um, which is, uh, I've said that it was coming out this summer, um, which it is, and it is ready to play. So you, uh, you should be expecting that one very soon. Because, um, I've been working on this map for a long time. I don't, I don't even remember exactly when, but at least a year, if not more. So, um, it's just packed with features, and unlike Uncrackable right now, it will be playable on launch. So, um, be ready for that, I just have to finish... Uh, recording a couple videos for the launch, and then it will be out. That'll be coming out very, very soon. Um, so, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed and want to see more videos, like and subscribe. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start uh, posting YouTube shorts, uh, so we'll see how that works out. I tried it a while ago, and um, YouTube shorts have just changed a lot, so I'm going to try it again. Um, and also I'll probably go post them on TikTok or something. I don't know, I don't like TikTok very much, but, uh, but really why not?
Shorts and TikTok are practically the same thing, so if I'm making it, why not post it there too? Um, thank you all so much for watching. I should come up with the catchphrase, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.